Poor CNN, they just can't catch a break. Now woke leftists are panicking over the fact that a pro-Trump right-wing billionaire just took over that fledgling news network. That's right. We're going to take a look at how leftists are panicking over the recent leadership change at CNN. We're going to see how their actual reporting is being vilified as heresy by the woke left. And make sure to stick with me at the very end of this video when I'll show you why CNN will truly never be the same. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Again, also make sure to click on that link below and visit the amazing patriots over at Gold Co. If you've got $50,000 or more in an IRA, 401k, or savings account, you need to protect those assets from bumbling Biden's economic insanity with a timeless value of gold and silver. Click on that link below and talk to our good friends over at Gold Co. They are patriots just like us, and they want you to succeed so much that they're offering you up to $10,000 in free silver if you open up an account with them. But that is a limited time offer, so don't wait. Click on that link below or visit my special website, turleytalkslikesgold.com. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. We've got some major bombshells coming out of CNN of like two, really, okay? We got Twitter going nuts over the fact that a CNN commentator is predicting that the GOP is going to take over the Senate. At the same time, social media is going nuts over the fact that a bona fide Trump donor has basically taken over CNN. I'm not kidding. The leftoids over at Twitter are absolutely freaking out over CNN's new ownership. And they're seeing CNN go back to actual reporting, you know, reporting on factual news like the GOP is indeed poised to take over the Senate. Leftoids are treating that attempt at actual journalism as sacrilege. How dare you? How dare you? As Greta would say, right? How dare you actually do the job of reporting? You, CNN, are supposed to be the major propaganda wing of the Democratic Party. But now you've gone like reporting facts and stuff. You know what that means. That means we're going to have to boycott you. And that's exactly what we're seeing trending on Twitter of late, what they're calling now the Christian Nationalist Network, CNN. I mean, this is just this is brilliant. Now, what really got this going was a piece by CNN's Chris Saliza, one of their chief political pundits. He wrote a piece predicting that control over the Senate was going to go Republican in November. And he's not alone in thinking that, right? There are plenty of pundits out there right now who recognize that not only has polling been historically very bad when it comes to midterm Senate races, past polling is far exaggerated Democrat support, especially when it comes to the Senate. But they notice all the energy that we're seeing right now in terms of voter enthusiasm is solidly on the side of the GOP. And this is especially the case after the Mar-a-Lago raid. And that's an absolutely key predictive indicator for the midterms. Dick Morris was just talking about this a few weeks back. Whenever you're dealing with a midterm election. The key factor is always, always turnout. And that's because on average, 50% of the voting population does not come out to vote in a midterm election in races for Congress. Sometimes that number dwindles to just 40% of voters, right? The key is turnout. Who among the voting population is going to come out in mass and support these candidates? And this is where Rich Barris is polling has been so valuable in my view because the trend that he's identified of late is that wherever Trump is involved in midterm elections, he's bringing out the vote big time. Republicans have come out in record numbers for the primaries. Virtually every single contest where an ultra MAGA candidate is on the ballot and they've been winning. I mean, they've been winning quite literally everywhere. So Rich Barris is predicting a safe pickup right now. It's going to get probably get more, but a safe pickup of 25 seats in the House. That number should grow as the polls start tightening up with the typical Republican surge that we see in September and October before an election. Remember, Glenn Youngkin was down 10 points to Terry McAuliffe around this time last year in the Virginia gubernatorial, uh, gubernatorial election. Of course, he went on to absolutely crush McAuliffe. So we got a safe 25-seat pickup as we speak. Carrie Lake looks like she's going to go on to win in uh, Arizona's governor. Same with Masters. Uh, J.D. Vance is going to kill it in Ohio. Herschel Walker is starting to break away 
Uh, he's uh, he's going to take Georgia. We're seeing movement in Pennsylvania. Both Mastriano and Dr. Oz are starting to surge. And by the way, speaking of, don't forget, that reminds me, this Thursday is the virtual premiere of my brand new movie, The Return of the American Patriot, The Rise of Pennsylvania. It's going to inspire you like never before. Remember, you can purchase the movie now for 25% discount and watch it with me this Thursday. Click on that link below right now and prepare to be inspired like never before. All right, so the fact that you've got a CNN pundit predicting the Senate is going to go Republican in November is right in line with these trends and trajectories. So what's the problem here? <laughs> well, the problem is, according to the left-wing social media universe, the problem is that kind of reporting is not so much reflective of reality as it is reflective of CNN's new management. And that new management, to their utter shock and horror, involves nothing less than a bona fide Trump donor billionaire. Now, this pro-Trump billionaire is a fellow by the name of John Malone. And a number of articles are coming out basically accusing CNN of purging their woke stars and employees as part of a deliberate attempt at remaking CNN and what many consider to be a pro-Trump image. No, you're not dreaming. This is real. <laughs> this is really real, uh, as I've heard it put. The leftist media is freaking out that a billionaire who supported Trump, who donated to Trump, who has a history of supporting conservative causes, is now calling the shots over at CNN. Now, this leadership change is all the result of a recent merger between Warner Brothers, which owns CNN, and Discovery. And Malone is one of the most influential board members on Discovery. And now, to the horror of left-wing outlets like the Daily Beast, he's begun flexing his muscles with CNN. Now, this is why they're all freaking out over the firings of the ultra-leftist correspondent John Harwood, right? He was the latest to go. This is the guy who actually made the outlandish claim that there was, quote, zero evidence that Joe Biden had any connection with Hunter Biden's illicit business dealings. And then, of course, you have Mr. Potato Head. He's gone. The utterly cringeworthy, repulsive Brian Stelter. Then the Zoomer groomer, Jeffrey Tubin, He got kicked out. Z uh, Jeff Zucker, the anti-Trump president, he got kicked out. Chrissy Cuomo got kicked out, but that was his own doing. But the pattern appears relatively clear. One CNN journalist who remained nameless told the Washington Post, quote, people are freaked out. It almost feels like there's a pattern. Is there a purge going on? They seem to be sending a message. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. <laughs> so, so this is how the left-wing media is interpreting not only all of these mass firings, but even when CNN actually begins doing precisely what their new leadership wants them to do, and that's simply report the news. That's all John Malone, when all said and done, that's all Malone has said he wants from CNN. He wants, he's on record for saying that all he wants is for CNN to go back to their golden era of their nonpartisan journalism that characterized their news coverage back in the 90s. That's all he wants. The fact that leftists both within CNN and without can only begin circulating conspiracy theories about a right-wing takeover of CNN just goes to show how far removed from reality the left really has become, which means that with this new leadership, the days of CNN being a flagship for liberal democratic propaganda may indeed be coming to an end. And in the end, delusional liberals will only have themselves to blame. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You will definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on the massive political earthquake that just took place in the nation of Sweden, where the single most liberal nation all of Europe has just turned to the nationalist populist right. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.